Water scarcity is a major problem for whole world. Limited water resources are decreasing day by day. It's getting difficult to reach fresh water. Conversation and management of fresh water resources is one of the major challenges of this century. Therefore, mining industry is being trying to save fresh water and minimize mine water discharge. Reuse of water and use of different water resources is a common application in most of the plants in order to save fresh water. Mineral processing is the process of separating commercial valuable minerals from their unvaluable parts. To provide this separation, different properties of ore used such as density, color, etc. Flotation is a mineral processing method which benefits the physicochemical surface differences of minerals. For saving fresh water, flotation plants generally recirculate water from tailings. Recirculated water chemistry may influence by the minerals in ore, flotation regions and environmental conditions. Internal reuse of processed water may differ in terms of some ionic components. The sulfate ions can convert to sulfate and thiosulfate, which may affect the flotation performance. Precipitation of these ions in combination of calcium may lead to form gypsum and cause some problems in pipes and other equipments. Also, water discharge may result in environmental contamination. To prevent these harmful effects, water treatment technologies are used in mines. Iron exchange is a very powerful technology to remove these contaminations from water. Undesirable anions are adsorbed by resins. This project aims to reduce concentration of some problematic ions which adversely affect flotation performance using ion exchange resin and investigate the effects on sulfide flotation. In the test, a laboratory scale column was designed and operated as the surface flow rate of water from bottom of the column. Synthetic water simulating process plant water was prepared by dissolving certain amount of chemicals in water. Absorption tests were performed by this synthetic water. As the absorption is a continuous process, after a certain time, the resin was not able to capture all ions. As, as a result of that, the ion exchange reaction may occur in reverse direction after 60 to 90 minutes. Results show that partial clearing of water is possible and the resin can be regenerated and reused for multiple times for water treatment. Flotation tests are the second part of our project. Using different ionic concentration of water samples obtained from ion exchange column test, flotation tests were performed on complex copper lead zinc sulfate ore of an Iberian mineral processing plant located in Portugal with a laboratory scale flotation cell. Copper lead bulk flotation was followed by zinc flotation. The tests were conducted first with only the synthetic processed water itself, then the treated water samples were used together with tap water by mixing in ratio of 70 to 30 in other tests. Copper, lead and zinc concentrates were obtained at the end of flotation test. Concentrate and tail samples were filtered, dried and analyzed for copper, lead, iron and zinc metals by using XRF device. Flotation plants treat in massive sulfide ores. Sulfate content of the processed water could be as high as 3000 to 4000 mg per liter level and may cause some negative implications in flotation efficiency. Complete treatment of processed water will be very costly. Therefore, in this project, partial cleaning of recirculated water down to sulfate concentration of 1000 to 1500 mg per liter in the plant was investigated. It was found that using strong base type ion exchange resin in a column system to reduce the harmful ions in water acceptable levels was possible. To reduce the ions down to desired limits, one hour or less absorption time is required. In absorption, 84% of sulfate in water could be successfully removed. Regeneration of the ion exchange resin was also performed and it was found that the resin could be used for multiple times for next water treatment stages. The treated water was mixed with tap water in a ratio of 70 to 30 percent and this mix water was used for flotation tests. The results show that treatment of water has improved zinc flotation process. The zinc concentrate Recovery and metal grade increased from 80% to 90% and from 29% to 35% respectively. These figures are very promising in terms of money for a metal industry. After all these engineering applications, significant amount of water and money saved.